Um, I wasn't originally um, going to make this video, um, but just to kind of give you an update of uh, the sketch videos I was making, I had uh, one which was written, uh, which was uh, printed the script, which is the video of um, Charlie Charlie. It's basically uh, a script about uh, this old board game in 2015. So we were trying to make a sketch video about this board game being real. And um, yeah, it's gonna take a while just to find the location and get get it all recorded because it takes a lot of time to make it. So without being um, out of context or anything, um, there's actually a secret that I wanted to say for a really, a really long time. Well, for about a few years, um, roughly in uh, 2020, um, I was actually uh, kind of considered myself as a cross-dresser, uh, which basically means I'm, you know, trying to wear uh, things like, like the opposite gender clothing. Yeah, I, I don't even know why I even did it in the first place. So I guess to start from the beginning, uh, it was roughly around 2020, around that time, when I was making the sketches and stuff for um, the second channel. And when I made these sketches and the videos, when they were uploaded, they actually hit around a thousand views, roughly, which is great because I grew up in a small area in Australia, so I actually grew up without many achievements. I didn't have many goals, and I just kind of felt that I wanted to do something a little bit different that I wanted to do for my life, but that's my bad. That is really my bad. I shouldn't really complain about it too much. Um, it's kind of odd, actually, because I still wanted to consider um, this kind of uh, thing. I mean, I'm still looking for a girlfriend as such, but it's a little ironic to know that I, you know, wanted to, like, wear the opposite gender clothing for some reason. But I should have really taken my time to uh, kind of figure out what cross-dressing really meant and what transgender really meant. But, but you take a lot of time and you do some research. I think the only time that the biggest inspiration was at Comic-Con, which was great because it was actually my first time at Comic-Con like ever because it's, I don't really know much about it at the time. I didn't know what it's about, uh, but what I've actually heard, it's kind of like a really big event where um, like fans or like many different people that would uh, be in this really big building and there was like a lot of different special events like either comic books, video games, or even um, like people dressing up as characters. They're actually called cosplay. And it was actually really interesting because there are a lot of uh, cosplays out there and they're really interesting. I saw like some uh, from Pokemon, some uh, from anime, I saw, um, I saw some fursona suits. It doesn't really bother me at all, um, because yeah, because once you play uh, video games that mostly involve furries, it doesn't really bother me at all. Yeah, I think that's what got me inspired to do cosplay, and I do actually apologize if I actually say something that's really nervous because I'm actually quite nervous about um, what I wanted to say for this video because I was hiding it publicly for so, so long. So to give you a bit of an example, I actually cosplayed as uh, Raven from Teen Titans. Uh, even though I don't really know much about the show, I only just saw roughly about uh, two episodes of, I guess you could say a new Millennium version or like the recent one, I guess. So I don't really know. I was just kind of looking at what costumes I'd like to play as. So yeah, so I basically cosplayed as Raven. 
I was actually nervous at Comic-Con because I actually had a few friends that accepted for who I really am, which is actually a positive. So what happened was when I actually uh, played as Raven, uh, a couple of girls were actually kind of shocked, which was a bit of a surprise. And they wanted to uh, like take a picture you know, with them, like basically the two girls while I'm dressing as Raven. So that was a bit of a surprise actually, because I never even like think of that in, in a million years. And I even did one with uh, with uh, Thor. I guess that he was from uh, the Avengers. I, uh, to be truthfully honest, and I do apologize if I offended you guys. I don't really know much about um, Marvel or DC kind of films or characters or the sequels, but I do actually know only the characters. But that's pretty much it. And the other one I did was Spider Man which I never even thought that I would actually be in a photo with Spider-Man while playing as Raven. So that was um, something new. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to say for a long time because I don't want to you know, come across as you know, prejudice or anything. I just wanted to do something that makes me happy. I mean, I wanted to like, protect my friends as much as possible because I wanted them to accept who I really am. I mean, to give a little bit of a moral here, or if you can call it a moral, um, I wouldn't say that a, that being a crossdresser makes you gay, it doesn't make you feel like an outcast. I would say being a crossdresser is just who you really are and what you are. Uh, of what you wanted in life and that what makes you happy so i think cosplaying at uh, comic-con i think was um the best experience of my life so that's kind of all i have to say so yes i'm still actually trying to make the sketch videos and again i do apologize if i'm going off to off topic but i'm still trying to make the sketch videos as much as possible I got a couple of them printed and got the scripts ready, but it's just to figure out where can I actually film this and you know how long it takes to record all this because making a five minute sketch video, it doesn't really happen instantly. It takes a lot of time and effort to make. So I really hope you guys understand it. So I'll, so I'll thank you guys for understanding and I'll, see you guys in roughly about a month or so so i can upload that video as much as possible so so see you guys there